Hey everybody, welcome to another review. I had some time tonight, so I thought I'd do uh, another quick review. Hopefully it'll be quick. And uh, tonight I'm going to actually test out the new Norton 2013 Beta. This is Internet Security. And uh, we're going to see how it does. You can see that the interface has changed once again. And um, now they're making it for Metro style for... Uh, Windows 8, so big buttons, statistics on the buttons, easy to use, and basically a touchscreen application. Everything is still kind of buried in there. If you go in deeper into it, like if you go into settings and things like that, you can still get to a lot of the, uh, you know, more granular settings if you want to, you want to call it that. You can definitely control a lot more different things. So basically, we're going to do the update. I've done the update a couple times, but it seems to be stuck on two days ago. I don't know why. I've even restarted like a bunch of times. And as you can see, it's stuck. I don't understand it, but it is a beta, so they probably know about it. But as you can see, it is updated. So first off, let's check out the task manager like I always do. Just to give you a quick over, you know, an idea of uh, resource usage. And you're looking at 33, and it's probably going to go down a lot. Same. And it just happened. So, less than 16 when it's idling, which is not bad at all for a full security suite. You got your little widget deal here, which I don't like. I usually just turn this stuff off and I never worry about it. But we're not here about how it looks and all that jazz we're here to see how it uh, performs so I have uh, malware files and malware links we're gonna test both of them and see how it does on both the one thing I always get from companies that don't do well is uh, nobody has a malware full ma uh, you know a folder full of malware on their computer which uh, you can kind of say it's true, but what happens if somebody brings in something on a flash drive or, um, you know, something like that? What are you going to do then? It's technically not on the internet, so you should be able to protect from both. There should be no difference in protection, be it on uh, the internet or on uh, on your computer. Okay, I just realized that I forgot to uh, check to see if my microphone was recording. That's why I stopped. <clears throat> I uh, did a review once and uh, it uh, didn't record anything. So I wasted like four hours for no reason whatsoever. All right. So now we're back. Alright, so it looks like it's being analyzed, and it found that one. Now it doesn't show you that there's an X here, but if you hover, you can click an X out the window. Okay, and that one it more than likely had a signature for, because it was quick. The other one was more than likely in the cloud. Okay, processing up, yep, that, that one's in the cloud definitely. You could see suspicious.cloud. Now it looks like that one is dead. And that one was also detected. So far doing pretty well. Okay, this SB says it's safe. Uh, this is probably going to install AdAware. Yeah, you see when you click default, it's going to install some AdAware in the background and we'll see if it catches that.
So while the original program might be safe, a lot of these are coming bundled now. It looks like that one is dead. Okay, the web page got blocked. Let's see what happens if we continue. Apparently nothing. Oops, that's the same one. Again. There we go. So this is wants to install the Babylon toolbar. So, and Q, Kuponish. And so it's going to change a bunch of settings on your computer, and you hope that, we'll hope it catches that. that go because it's moving real slow and we'll try the last one here okay it caught that one And it looks like this is stuck at 40%. This FLV player. All right, so let's open up, see what we got running around in memory, if anything. seem to close this which is kind of annoying we have Internet Explorer open even though it's not open and this BC Helper, whatever that is, it's signed by a company. So I have no idea what that is. We'll kill Internet Explorer, there's no need for it to be open. And this got identified as Application Unwanted Adware, you can see. That's a long name. So we will kill the process, get rid of it, uh, kill this too. All right, so we killed all the extra processes and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to temporarily disable the antivirus engine because I want to be able to ah, dang it. I want to be able to unpack all this malware. So I'm going to disable disable these. Okay. And I'll unpack this malware, put it on the desktop, and then we're going to do a context scan with it which is you no know, right click and scan and we're gonna go from there so I'm gonna pause and I'll be back after the scan is done oh I am gonna turn the malware engine back on but after the scan is done it should not affect anything but I'll scan first get rid of what it finds turn it back on scan again just to make sure that there's no weird interaction if I turn something off it 
does something weird. So I'll be right back. Alright, I want to show you guys that there really is 2,563 files in there. So there's all the malware. And we're going to scan. So I will pause and be back whenever this is done. This does it in different steps. It scans, then it detects, and then it resolves. So it doesn't just scan, detect, resolve, scan, detect, resolve. No, it scans first, then it detects, then it resolves. Okay, so I want to show you guys. After it's done processing as many as it can, it now asks you to fix and apply to some of the ones that it couldn't do. And those are usually the ones at the top. And one of them says um, restart required. So first we're going to apply them all. And then what we're going to do is we're going to turn everything back on. Okay, and then I'm going to reboot just to resolve that last one. And then I'm going to do another right click and scan and hopefully that will get rid of everything that's left over. So I will be back when the reboot is done. Alright, so I did another scan and you can see I found some suspicious cloud that's 7 and some adware and things like that and it wants me to apply them. And now it's going to fix them, whatever that means. And then we're going to do it again to make sure that nothing else comes up. And, you know, the scans aren't fair, fairly fast here. They're pretty slow. Mostly because I can bet it checks everything in the cloud at the same time. And there might be an option somewhere to turn that off, but seeing as they comes like that from the factory, I'll just let it be. But it's not very fast, to say the least. But maybe it, if you run a scan on your system multiple times, it starts to cache files and maybe it gets faster. So, that being said, I'll wait for these to finish and I'll do another scan and hopefully this time it'll get rid of everything. Alright, so... What I'm also doing now, just so I can show you guys, is I am running this through because maybe I thought the on-demand scanner would catch, or I don't know, it, it may might catch some more. So as we can see, it is still identifying some things. And you can see how many we have left over right now, about a thousand, which I think it's where it's going to be. See 1002. It's going to be close to that. So what I'm going to do now, seeing as I ran through this whole thing, is I am going to let it finish doing whatever it's doing, and I'll be back. All right. So it looks like it finished here, and I did the math real quick, and it's 61 percent. So it's not that rate I've seen a lot higher but this is also new malware but let's see how it protects I don't know we'll do 10 to 15 maybe 20 of these so let's go to the we're at the top here yep let's start out with whatever this is That's three. I'll show you that everything is turned on. That one didn't work. That's four.
or five. So we got something running around here. All right. We'll just get these done and over with quickly. I don't know. Let's go down farther. I want to make sure we get a good selection. bunch of add aware Do I don't know three more? We'll call it good. Let's see one. Well, three that actually work. call that one the last one. Alright, and I'm going to let this process some of the threats because the hard drive is going nuts here. So I'll pause, I'll let it process some threats, I'll reboot, and then uh, we'll come back. Let's see if we got anything weird running in memory. Looks like it's still processing things. <clears throat> yeah, this is going to take a while. Alright, so um, the only thing that we got that is not known is this uh, Vizicom anti phishing, which is actually. Um, I think like the Panda toolbar. So that's the only thing that isn't known that's running around in the background. And I don't see anything else. So what we're going to do now is we're going to reboot and then I'll do a full system scan. So I'll be back with the results on the full system scan. 
Alright, so I want to show you guys while it's scanning. Um, very light on the memory, only about 24 megs, and fairly light on the CPU, probably averaging 30 to 50 percent. Most of the time it's not going too heavy on it, so that's uh, good to see. And uh, now it's uh, actually going to start scanning all of the files. This is a full scan, so we'll see if it finds anything. Alright, so full system scan finished, and it did not find anything. So now we will commence with our testing. First off, we're going to let's open up kill switch one more time, see if there's anything in there that we don't know about. Let's open up auto runs. And we'll check it out. And I'll let these open up and do their thing, and I'll be right back. All right, so auto runs here identified a bunch of unknown things. So what do we have here? We have a bunch of browser helper objects, BHOs. So I want this Jet MP3 uh, updater for spam free search box. Yan2, that's unknown. Um, what do we got here? Babylon toolbar. Uh, this anti phishing thing is unknown. I know it's safe though because I've had previous experience with it, so I know that's safe. Some of these other ones I think are a little ad wary, like the Babylon toolbar. And we have this uh, brand Affinity, which is unknown also. but. We'll let that stuff go because it's nothing in red. So what we're going to do is we're going to open up Cleaning Essentials, Reboot, when it asks me to, and we'll do a full scan. So I'll be back. I'm going to kill Norton while this is scanning to speed it up too. Alright, so Komodo finished scanning and it found three things. Found an unwanted application found another an unwanted application, adware, FLV player, uninstall, uninstall.exe and it found a piece of malware, Dharma installer and program data, setupx.dll so we're gonna apply all these and it's gonna ask me to reboot, so I'll reboot and I'll be right back Actually, what I'm going to do is after this is done rebooting, I'm going to do a scan with Malwarebytes and I'll come back with that result. Alright, so I'm back here with Malwarebytes and it says it found 66 things. So it looks like it found a uh, big Adware gameplay lab, Adware agent, a haha -ha game. Uh, let's see what else here. Crossfire, possibly unwanted application. So we're going to check all of them. Adware, Adware, and possibly unwanted application. So a bunch of Adware and pups that got by. I'm going to remove all these. And next, let's do a scan with Hitman Pro. and I'll pause and I'll be right back alright and looks like Hitman Pro identified an inf possibly infected file here ie installer.dll and fan tapper players that's definitely something there and last but not least I don't think I don't know I don't think I'm gonna do a scan with a squared takes too long uh, maybe in the final version. So, in this version, it didn't do too bad. Um, it did leave some adware behind and uh, some possibly unwanted programs. And. Uh, 
Um, you saw it left a couple of Trojans and things like that behind that were found by uh, Komodo. So no major infections, but definitely not like 100% clean or anything like that. So we'll have to see when the final version comes out, how it does, and like always, before you buy any product, um, oh, now the live update started working again. Look at different reviews. Don't just look at one and take a word for it. Look at a bunch of them and see how, you know, how it works in a lot of different situations. So that being said, hope you guys enjoyed the, this quick preview of the final version, which will be out probably later in the f summer or fall. And we'll check out the final version then. So uh, that's it. Hope you guys enjoyed it. And uh, I'll go upload this video. Take care and have a good night.